Hello, what is the one thing that you can sell but you still be able to keep it? I mean, what is the one product that you can sell but still be able to keep it? Hello, my name is Shola Matthew and this is the Bilonia Journey Podcast. If you have not subscribed to our podcast newsletter, please go and do so right now at thebiloniajourney.com. Go to thebiloniajourney.com and you can subscribe. I mean, you can subscribe to our newsletter. And we have a fantastic gift that we are working on that is going to be available any moment from now. And you will be the first person to know about it. Go to thebiloniajourney.com. Yeah. So let's continue our discussion on today's topic. What is the one gift that you can sell? I mean, the one thing or the one product that you can sell and still be able to keep it. Yeah. That one product is called knowledge the business of knowledge you know just I, I over the years i have been able to train thousands of people young people and entrepreneurs uh, ranging from digital marketing to web design to personal branding to uh, you know even if, if i think i've done uh, training on podcasting at a time I've traveled, you know, within my country and out of the country to do a lot of trainings. And whenever I facilitate these trainings, I impart people with my knowledge. I mean, most of the time I get paid to do this. In fact, there was a time or twice that I've, uh, I've been paid to travel out of the country to another country in order to train people you know, on what I know, which is my knowledge. And for each of this, whenever I train these people, you know, I still get to keep my knowledge. <laughs> I mean, still get to retain or keep my own product, which is the knowledge. So I look at it and say, what is the one business that you can do that you can sell a product, but still be able to keep it? And that is the knowledge business. So if you are not in the knowledge business, maybe it's time for you to get on. And, you know, it's it's not it's not a business that you're going to start and just blow immediately. It's no, in fact, there's no business that you'll be successful at overnight. It takes time, you know, time and chances happens to them all. It takes time right for you to perfect your gift so many people were like oh you 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 you, you started this podcast and, and it looks so amazing and, but they didn't know how many years i've got to prepare you know to to start in this podcast and i started a podcast sometimes in 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 2017 that was when i started my first podcast and and it's been on you know just going up and down but you know in those times were times of my preparation anyway let's get back to what we're talking about knowledge is the one product that you can still and still be able to keep it right so example a lot of people are asking you questions on certain things maybe you know how to speak in public maybe you know how to dress well maybe you know how to combine colors maybe you know how to bake cake maybe you know how to organize you know you're good at organization maybe you know how to you know create a very very great profile right uh, maybe you know how to um, draw maybe you know how to take photograph right maybe you know how to cook these are things that you can translate to knowledge. And listen, knowledge is a kind of product that you can, you know, you can exponentially scale without necessarily having to, you know, recreate the product again. What do I mean? Especially in this age of technology, you know, for example, let's say you're, you're a, you have a saloon, you, 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 you do a very 
beautiful and you do very beautiful makeups for people right and you have you are limited by the number of people that you are able to serve in that salon even if you employ people right it means that you have to spend more right by employing more people in different locations your, your over edge will, will increase if you're doing the service yourself or you have your own physical store but if you decide to turn your knowledge of that service for example how to do makeup right and then you turn it to a product to a course then you can host your course online and sell you just need to to create that course once and you can sell that course as many times as possible now these are things that a lot of wealthy people have come to learn the business of scaling you have to be able to 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 you know to turn your service into knowledge that way you can create that course once and you're able to serve as many many people as possible you are not even limited by location right you can sell to as many people as possible i remember when you sell your product to people you're also helping all the people because if someone gets to know how to i for example i love you know when i see women with beautiful eyebrows i love it you know i love it now what if a lady didn't know how to draw the perfect eyebrow but you are able to teach her to draw a perfect eyebrow right she'll be grateful for life maybe there's a trick there's a technique that you use to draw such a perfect eyebrow she'll be grateful for you for life even though she bought it from you but you know she's able to gain something beneficial to her right so what is it what is your business why can't you turn that business into knowledge, right? And sell it to people. Of course, in the, in the next episode, we're going to talk about how you can create this, you know, um, this digital product and, you know, how you can sell it and so on and so forth. And let's not, <laughs> let's not take too long on today's episode. I want to say thank you for listening and remember to share this episode with your friends and please leave us a message or a comment or a message. What, 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 what is your, what, what question do you have that you want us to address on this podcast or what topic do you want us to cover in this podcast? Just if you're living, if you're listening on Anchor, you know, you'll be able to leave a voice message and then I'll be able to respond to this uh, messages in the next episodes. Right. Thank you so much. Uh, also, go to the billionaire and subscribe to our podcast newsletter. The last time I checked, over 30 people have subscribed. Thank you so much. Everyone who believes in us, I want to say we're very, very grateful. Uh, see you in the next episode.